The six rules on how to become a rich and famous artist are one, make great art, two, live in New York, three, circulate, four, be professional, five, have a story, and six, get other people to work for you. I moved to New York uh, on January 1st, 1982. After a year and a half of working in isolation, kind of struggling, I wasn't starving, but I, I couldn't pay the rent on time every month. I realized I had to start going to art openings and art parties, and it was like felt like minutes before I met Andy Warhol and other top artists. This is my visual language. I came up with this even as an art student in 1981. I started making line drawings of faceless figures that transcends racial and national barriers, and so that everyone can read their own story into the work. And that's probably why my work is popular throughout the, the globe. Uh, and the paintings in this show uh, are all classic Gustavi identifiable, my work, signature style. It's more about specific messages that I want to uh, share with the world uh, um, that I see. Like, uh, and a lot of my paintings comment on what's going on in the world at, at the time. Like, so I'm thrilled that my painting, Climbing Through Art History, is in this show. And art, it's art history because there are references to Andy Warhol with the Campbell soup can. And also the, the figure climbing comes out of a Daumier painting. Daumier is a French painter. And one of his lesser known works, it just, it's a very loose painting, almost a sketch with oil paint of a figure climbing up a rope. Well, the thing that separates my work from everybody else's work, it's not one thing, it's a, it's a combination of faceless figures, strong side lighting, and social commentary. Because no one really does those three things put together. Uh, so I try to keep up and reflect on what's going on in the world. And most importantly, I want to my art to communicate. I always have. I like when it gets a response. And I'm just so thrilled to be here in Hendersonville in the, the Mont Haven Cultural Center where I'm being honored by this show. And I'm sure this is the best show I've ever had. It's so well installed on these fabulous gray walls. And it's gray, but it's not cold. It's a warm gray and, and it makes the paintings jump off the walls and it's so well curated and I see so many of my favorite paintings. So I really, uh, I'm glad it's up for a while because I want to come back and meditate in front of these paintings and, and read the wall labels, which were so brilliantly crafted by, by Mr. Rubin. Mark and I knew of each other for 40 years before we actually made a deal. And it was one of the better things I've done in my life in the last couple of years. So I knew deep in my, in my gut, Mark was the guy for Tennessee right now. I'm so grateful to have finally come to Tennessee and, and to be honored with this beautifully done exhibition. I, I'm, I'm humbled and happy and I, I hope things keep going this well.